law of demand. Other things remaining constant, the quantity demanded increases with the fall in its own price and decreases with the rise in its price. That means there exists an inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded. As we can see from the following graph, the demand curve is a downward sloping curve. It slopes downwards from left to right because of the inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded. When there is a decrease in price from P1 to P2, the quantity demanded decreases, uh, increases, I'm sorry, the quantity demanded increases from Q1 to Q2. The law of demand is based upon the assumption that all other factors of demand other than its own price like income, taste and preferences of the consumer, prices of the related commodities that is the per, uh, substitutes and complementary goods, size of population, the future expectation about the prices, the needs and preferences of the consumer remain unchanged. The law of demand has got certain exceptions and limitations. The law of demand is not applicable in case of different goods. By different goods, we mean inferior goods. So whenever we talk about inferior goods, an increase in their price leads to actually a decrease in quantity demanded. And a decrease in their price leads to further decrease in quantity demanded. Hence, the law of demand is not applicable in case of different goods. Similarly, in case of vanity goods or prestige goods which is used for conspicuous consumption in such commodities also a increase in price leads to a increase in quantity demanded and a decrease in price leads to a decrease in quantity demanded hence the law of demand is not applicable in case of vanity goods now let us see what is price elasticity of demand the responsiveness of quantity demanded to the change in price keeping other determinants constant is known as price elasticity of demand. Symbolically, price elasticity of demand is equal to delta Q by delta P into P by Q where Q stands for quantity demanded and P stands for price. Now, let us see what are the various degrees of price elasticity of demand. The various degrees of price elasticity of demand can be perfectly elastic. Here, ED is equal to infinity. That means the quantity demanded changes with a little or no change in price. Now, this is a purely imaginary situation. In real life, we rarely come across such products. Here, the demand curve takes the shape of a horizontal line parallel to the x-axis. The next case is a case of perfectly inelastic demand. Here ED is equal to 0. That means any change in price does not lead to change in quantity demanded. Whether the price increases or decreases, the quantity demanded remains the same. The demand curve here takes the shape of a vertical line parallel to the y-axis. We find such kind of elasticity in case of necessities. The third case that we are talking about is a case where ED is equal to 1. That means the change in quantity demanded is exactly in the same proportion as the change in the price. Here, the demand curve takes the shape of a rectangular hyperbola. That means the area underlying it will always be equal. We call this as unitarily elastic. Now, this is a case of relatively more elastic. Here, the, a small change in price is leading to a considerable change in quantity demanded. The demand curve is more flatter, inclined towards x-axis. We call it as relatively more elastic. Now, the next case that we talk about is relatively less elastic. Here, a significant amount of change in price is leading to a very small change in quantity demanded. Here, the demand curve is more steeper and is inclined towards the y-axis. Thank you.